Hello everybody, my name is Carl and welcome to another Ubuntu Server 14.04 tutorial. Today I have another viewer request, which is how to set up an own cloud server on Ubuntu server. So let's go ahead and begin. Uh, first we want to start by opening up our favorite terminal program and logging in. And running an update, so sudo apt-get update. Once the update's finished, we want to go ahead and, and start installing some software. The first one we'll need to install is MySQL. MySQL is a database application which is required by OwnCloud. So let's go ahead and start. sudo apt-get install mysql-server mysql-client. It's going to ask you to create a root user password and to confirm it. Next, we want to install Apache. Apache is a web server program. That's how OwnCloud, OwnCloud pretty much works is on a server. So sudo apt-get install Apache. APACHE2. Next, we'll need to install PHP 5. Uh, PHP is what the own cloud uh, system is built on, so we'll need to have support for it. So sudo apt get install PHP 5 space lib APACHE2 dash mod dash php5 and php5 dash c url next we want to install php my admins for easy database access so sudo apt dash get install php my admin all one word It's going to ask you to configure the database for PHP admin with dbconfig-common. We want to select no on this. And then it's going to ask us to choose what web server we want to do it with. We want to go ahead and, Apache, and uh, select Apache 2. Awesome. Once that's all finished, we want to go ahead and restart Apache. So sudo service Apache 2 restart. Once Apache 2 is finished restarting, we want to go ahead and open up a web browser. Once you have your web browser open, go ahead and surf to your IP address or domain name forward slash phpMyAdmin. We go ahead and log in with the username root and then the password we set up during the installation. Once logged in, click on databases and then create a new database called own cloud and then press create that's all we need to do for this we can go ahead and return to our terminal excellent once the database is finished creating we can go ahead and start setting up the actual own cloud files first we need to switch directories to cd forward slash var forward slash www forward slash html and we need to do a wget sudo wget HTTP colon forward slash forward slash download dot own cloud dot com forward slash download forward slash community forward slash setup dash own cloud dot PHP. You quickly do an LS to verify that the file is downloaded. We'll now need to switch the permissions of that file, so sudo chown, negative r, www.data, or sorry, dash data, forward slash var, forward slash www, forward slash html, forward slash. Once that's finished, we can go ahead and go back to our browser again. You want to go to your domain name or IP address, forward slash setup dash owncloud.php.
This will start the startup wizard. Go ahead and press next. I'm gonna go ahead and install it to the directory it's currently in, so I'm gonna replace own cloud with a period, and then next. Then next after it's successful. Go ahead and create a username and password for the administrator account. And then we need to do our database user, which is root, database password, which is what we set up earlier during the installation. Database name is gonna be own cloud. And then whatever the uh, host of the server is gonna be, since we have MySQL installed on the web server, it's just gonna be localhost. We can go ahead and press finished. And then once it's done, you'll, it'll log you into the administrator backend automatically. You can now go through all of our administrator panels and set up own cloud the way that you like. The next thing to do would be to download a desktop sync or sync client and start sharing the files um, between your desktop and your own cloud server. Uh, the web server runs on TCP port 80. So if you're running this on internal network, you'll need to open up port 80 to have access to it from outside your network. And that's really all there is to it, guys. If you enjoyed the video, show me by leaving me a like. If you want to see more videos in the future, subscribe. This was another viewer-requested video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have a suggestion for a future episode, um, leave it in the comment section. Uh, if it's something I can do, I'll do it. And as always, guys, I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks.